Greetings, mathematicians of all ages. Today we're going to be doing dividing decimals by whole numbers. Earlier this chapter we spent time uh, estimating the multiplication and division of, of decimals. Uh, a couple days ago we did modeling, dividing, and multiplying decimals. Uh, yesterday we did the multiplication of decimals, the actual calculation. And today we move into the division realm. We actually do a couple days of it. Uh, the first day is dividing decimals by whole numbers. Before we get into that, I thought it would make sense to review each of our previous jingles. So here's an addition uh, sentence. Let's do 32.5. Here's a subtraction. Let's do 22.3 minus 4.56. And finally, let's do 0.3. 3 times 2.2 okay so before I go through the jingles I want you to pause the video try to remember the jingles and try to do each of these in your notebook go ahead all right so the first one is addition of decimals and that of course was one of our jazzy beats when adding decimals you line up the decimal points right so I line them up we'll just do that one over here I have to line up decimals when I'm adding right now we go straight down and that one's done right subtraction same right when subtracting decimals you line up the decimal points right so we line them up 4.56 in this case I need to add a 10 here borrow from there without intent to give back borrow a whole bunch of borrowing actually four already did some borrowing seven seven one right all right and finally the jingle we learned last time which is multiplying decimals here we go when multiplying decimals don't line up the decimal points just count how many decimal places come after the decimal points Okay, so let me just erase some of this here, give myself some room so that I can do that. All right, so we'll do 0.33, 2.2, don't care where I line things up. And now we just go 6, 6, 0, bunch of sixes apparently. We add it, 2, 7 there, kind of smoosh it in at the bottom. And if we count our decimal places, there are two here one here so that's going to be three total so that will be point seven two six write it a little more neatly over here all right so that was adding subtracting multiplying all right let's get into today's um, before I show you the decimals how we divide those by whole numbers I'm just gonna have you try two um, classic division problems to see if you remember the process the algorithm to do that okay so the first one, we're going to do 1,554 um, divided by 7. And the second one would be uh, 6 into 3,414. So pause. Uh, give these a shot. See how you do. OK, so if I'm just finding, uh, following the classic algorithm, the process, I'm going to take 7 into 15 twice. I do 2 times 7 to get 14 and so on. Hopefully this looks vaguely familiar. That one worked out to a bunch of twos, right? 222. The second one, six will go, won't go into three, but it will go into 34 five times. Left with 30, goes into 41 six times. It goes into 54 nine times, right? Now, if you can do these division problems, you absolutely can divide by uh, you can divide decimals by whole numbers okay so just like last lesson what I'd like to do is write the lyrics down um, then you're gonna pause it you're gonna uh, write those down and then try to sing it a couple times with me so let me get those down all right so here are the lyrics get these down pause the video until uh, you've finished writing them down 
All right, so this one, we've already done jazz with adding and subtracting. We've already done a rock funk beat with our multiplication. This we go way back, we do some classical music. This is a song uh, many of you learned with me last year. Uh, the composer is Edvard Grieg. The song is In the Hall of the Mountain King from the Piergen Suite. And you'll remember that. Uh, melody goes <laughs> that melody is exactly what we use for this one it sounds like this when dividing decimals ignore the decimal point until the very end when you move it to the top and now you'll see the ding in parentheses. What I want you to do is pretend you're at the carnival at a fair and you go into one of those, uh, you know, strong man hammer things. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Where they swing the big hammer and see how far they can make the slider go up toward the bell. So what you're going to do right when you get to the end is take your hammer, your pretend hammer, you'll swing it down and then you're going to watch the slider go up to the bell and you're actually going to say ding. So just listen to that. It goes like this. When dividing decimals, ignore the decimal point until the very end when you move it to the top. Ding! And since we're all strong, we're going to get it all the way to the top. Okay, so what I want you to do is uh, pause the video, no, rewind the video, play that a couple times, listen to it a couple times, sing it a couple times, and then we'll move on. Okay, now that we're ready to go, uh, we follow the exact same process. So this is one, a problem that you started with. It was 7 into 1,554. And if I just put a decimal here, if we follow the song, ignore the decimal point until the very end when you move it to the top, right? So <clears throat> I just do the problem again. Goes in twice. Keep going. Right. And at the very end, I move it to the top. So my little decimal there. Just goes straight up. It might need to move a little bit. Ding! Right, right to the top. Another one we did originally was six into three, four, one, four. Again, I can put the decimal anywhere. Um, why don't I put it here this time? So you're forced to move it up there. So again, the six goes in there five times. I subtract, drop the one. Goes in six times. Thirty-six goes into fifty-four nine times. Right. And then this goes straight up, ding, right to the top. Okay, let's do uh, two more. <clears throat> let's try three into two, two, seven, four. And by the way, um, the book will probably write it like this, you know, 2,274 divided by three. The number we divide by always goes outside the bracket. Okay, so don't forget that. All right. And let's do three into, um, well, let's do 2.274. Pause the video, give it a shot. All right, so once again, ignoring the decimal until the very end. So three goes does not go into two. goes into 22 uh, seven times. Gives me a 21. Drop the seven. Goes in five times. 15. Goes into 24 eight times, right? And bring that straight up, 0.758, okay? Now, just one more so you, you see an example that doesn't work out so nicely. Um, let's do 0.3415 divided by five. Give that a shot, see what happens. So on this one, you probably notice that the five doesn't go into the three, which is fine. It does go into the 34 six times, and we go all the way till we can't go anymore, right? And it works out. The issue is, if we take the decimal straight up, it goes right there, and we have that gap right there. Uh, some of you maybe remembered or figured out that I have to put a zero there, just like with multiplying yesterday when I had an extra spot, I needed to add a zero there. So I do that again today. Probably make my eight a little nicer there. There we go. So 5 into um, 0.3415 is going to give you 0.0683. Okay? So if you've been able to use that process, that dividing process in the past, 
you're going to be just fine on dividing decimals by whole numbers because all we do is ignore the decimal point until the very end when we move it to the top. Ding! Alright, see you next time.